everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at the Fortune Tellers deck, The Ancient Art of Katomacy, Predict Your Future by Jane Lyle, illustrations by Oliver Munden. It's a playing card deck in a rectangular hard case two-part box. Uh, and the publisher... It looks like it's uh, Oliver Mun Mun Munden, so it may be an independent deck because that's the name uh, of the illustrator. It looks like so it may be an independent deck. So very pretty blue in her cover. It does come with a very nice uh, guidebook, and we'll take a look at the guidebook more in depth after we look at the cards card or underneath I love this turquoise color this is hard case uh, cardboard that the card lays in and check this out they even have blue turquoise uh, thing that wrap the card that matches very color coordinated I love it all right let's back up the box and we'll take a look at the guidebook uh, afterwards. So we have the backs here, purple, very pretty. Looks like it is reversible, size are not gilded, it, and it's papery. Uh, medium cardstock, there is a little sheen, but it doesn't feel like it's laminated. You can tell there is a coating, it's very smooth, satiny feel, but it is papery. It is uh, shorter than the traditional plaid back tarot card size, but the width is about the same. All right. So they're just uh, regular playing card decks, and I know some people use playing cards to do um, readings, and the guidebook is really good. I skimmed through it and it actually tells you and give you the meaning. So um, if it's something you're interested in, you might want to, or if you ever wanted to learn how to read playing card decks uh, for divination purposes, you might want to pick this up because the guidebook is uh, pretty good, pretty detailed as far as I can tell. So let's go through the cards, just regular playing card decks, so this will go by fast. We have the Ace of Clubs. I notice it's black up top, but it's green this way. I guess is this to try to tell you when it's upside down? Just notice that. So two, three. I'm just going to go by fast with this because there's not much to look at as far as illustration. It's just a regular playing card deck, but really nice uh, card stock and pretty colors. But the main thing is the guidebook. So then now we have the jack. Of clubs the Queen of Clubs and then the King of Clubs it has an Egyptian feel there next is diamonds so ace two three four five six seven eight nine ten Jack Queen and King now we have hearts, so it looks like they're color coded for each suit. We have ace of hearts, two of hearts, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we have the jack of hearts, the queen of hearts, and the king of hearts. And then uh, final suit is of spades, so ace of spades, two of spades, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, and then we have the joker. There's another look at the backs. And then the guidebook. Let's zoom out since it's a larger guidebook. Harder cover. 
these are nice thick pages they're matte pages and then they're all listed out for you part one the cars and their meanings and then they have each suit here part two using the cars and then there's an afterward so introduction mysterious origins divination in the cards about this book and I don't think I mentioned that this was released back in November of 2023 so it's been out under a year it's uh only about seven seven and a half months or so so fairly new deck part one the cars and their meanings getting started how to use the card the four suits and it goes into the different suits so we have the diamonds and it tells you the season that the suit represents in this case spring March April May the time is early morning symbolic age youth essence movement intuition and communication and it explains what the diamonds uh, suit are and then the same is for clubs hearts and spades so very informative like i said if you always wanted to read playing cards or learn how to play or learn how to read playing cards or just curious about the playing card system for divination purposes this is an excellent book from what i can see at a glance the ace uh, energy and beginnings the individual ace represents the essence of the energy and meaning signified by their suit they can denote both beginnings and endings this will be made clear by the surrounding cards above all ace are clear signals that something important and dynamic is about to happen and then it goes on to each card so ace of diamonds and then it has the interpretation upright and then the, the reverse meaning so very well laid out and informative ace of clubs ace of hearts and then so on and so forth a, a of space and then it goes into the two two represents balance and union two of diamonds two of clubs two of hearts two of spades and then the threes so it tells you uh, from a numerology standpoint numerology standpoint what each number represents and then it goes into the suit three of diamonds upright in reverse three of clubs three and then they even gives you you know the key words so very nice book deck guy side and guy deck. and if you're interested in more um, playing cards i uh, do have a playlist on the channel playing cards i try to organize my cards uh, into playlists or my my reviews my uh, walkthrough so I have a uh, tarot, which is the popular one and then Oracle, but then I do have like astrology and playing cards. So just an FYI, if you're interested in this, I do have uh, a few other ones uh, through the years and I do have a playing card playlist, just FYI, if you're not, if you were not aware. So it has combinations and it has the layouts, the mystic cross, magic square, Romani. Romani spreads, the alternative Romani spread. So very, very informative, quite interesting actually. So it's kind of cool to learn how to read playing cards because you can, you know, pick it up anywhere and they're very inexpensive. So very nice presentation, nice like hard case box and nice guidebook, nice cards. Uh, and they're, like I said, they're a little shorter but I th I think they're a little larger than a traditional playing card deck because if I remember correctly playing card decks seem smaller I could be wrong because I don't usually use playing cards so I can't remember the exact size size of it maybe I should put some other there we go all right so this may not be for everyone but uh, it's, it's quite interesting for those who are interested something new and different I like checking out you know new and different decks because I, I like all kinds of genres and categories so 
All right, hopefully I can fit it all in here. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.